Hey, it's Jang here from Ultimate RC with a look at and rant about this <laughs> charger and power supply combo from Track Power. Uh, there's some backstory behind this thing. I'm going to try to go through it as quickly as I can without rambling on too long about it. When this thing was first announced, uh, almost exactly one month ago, I drooled over it, drooled over it massively and just wanted it in the worst way. But I didn't buy it, showed up on tower, didn't buy it because I try to be responsible with my money, try not to spend on things that I don't need, try not to, yeah, I end up getting very few things that I actually want. I go for needs more than anything. I also try to give a good example for uh, folks who follow along uh, on ultimatercom also on YouTube, especially younger viewers. Uh, I try to give good examples about, you know, being smart with your money. Uh, I don't recommend that uh, people buy stuff that is really expensive if they don't need it. This set right here is pretty expensive. This is 300 bucks you're looking at between the two. Between, it's a, I believe a two, it was a $200 charger and a $100 power supply. Yeah, ouch. Yeah, expensive. But I wanted it so badly because it's so sick. It connects together. The power supply and the charger, they connect together top to bottom. There's no wires going between them. They've got direct connections uh, in between there. Uh, what else? Well, I mean, obviously you can see it's got this nice, this nice uh, screen here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful screen. Uh, LCD screen with different menus. And it's got really nice sounds behind it. A lot of configurability. Uh, also the ability to, uh, wait, not that one. Uh, the ability to look at uh, charts, graphs. So if I switch over here, so I'm actually looking at a graph of the last battery pack that I that I charged, and I haven't had any graphing uh, uh, graphing chargers in a while since I sold off my Checkpoint, which was a replacement for my Duratrax Ice, both excellent chargers. So I didn't buy this thing right when it was announced. A couple days later, I got an email from a a product rep on behalf of Track Power saying, "Hey, we got this new." Uh, this new charger power supply combo, we'd love for you to do a review on it. We'll send you a set out. And I, uh, you think you know the answer to the rest of the story now, right? Well, I turned them down. I politely turned them down 100%. This was not given to me. I paid for this, so just wait for it. Uh, I turned them down because this is a $300 set. And if I did a review, if it was a perfect charger, the most awesome charger that I've ever seen in my entire life, which is actually what I was expecting at the time. Still, the review was going to be, yeah, awesome, great charger, but hey, all you folks who are watching, 99% uh, of y'all should just go to Hobby Parts or Hobby King or whatever, get a Thunder AC6, you know, for 60 bucks. Oh, but this is a dual charger. Okay, so you get two Thunder AC6s for 60 bucks a piece, you know, something around 120 bucks, and done. You've got two full-on great chargers, AC-DC, smaller than this, all-in-one, does everything you need. So I wasn't going to do a review of this thing, uh, a video review, because it's it's not right for almost all of you guys. But I bought it a few weeks, yeah, about three weeks later. I caved in to my desires and trying to actually do something nice for myself for a change. Uh, you'll see a, a, a few things that I've purchased, purchased recently for me. Uh, most of the stuff that I purchase is for you guys, and it's strictly for work. It's just to do the reviews and and uh, share information with you guys. But I got this because I wanted it, and I can afford it. And hey, there we go. So here it is, great and all, dual charger, all set up. I actually did a whole long unboxing video, unboxing and first look video uh, already. I filmed it up and uh, not only was it an unboxing, but I actually in that video I actually plugged it in, started going through the, the menu system and showing you the configuration and yeah, it was really, really nice thing. I was just tickled pink about it. And then I brought it into here, got it all set up, moved my other two chargers out of the way, got everything all nice and clean. Uh, everything, it's it's doing its job of, of uh, just cleaning up my whole charging station, giving me more space. 
and I used it to charge up four packs that evening. You know, my first actual real use. And by the end of the second or third pack out of those four that I charged, I decided that I was going to get rid of this thing because I don't want it. Uh, it let me down completely and utterly. Let me go ahead and zoom this in a little bit and just show you the main reason that it completely and utterly let me down. So right now we're looking at channel one. They, they call the outputs channel one and channel two. You know, that's the, the it's a, like I said, it's a dual charger, so you can charge two batteries at once. Here are the two outputs, a little out of focus, but channel one, you know, this menu system is awesome, right? Channel two, they have a, they have a channel button right here. Switch over to channel two. Um, what is this? Screen one, screen two, screen one, screen two. That's it. Channel two gets only this, none of the other configurability and all the memory and the setup and all the nice stuff, none of it. So this is like two chargers in one. One really, really nice charger with lots of features and one really basic, might as well be a Thunder AC6. It gets worse. Uh, this is a 250 watt, I think, 250 watt uh, charger. Um, let me, oops, let me go back into configuration. This is this is really sad, really really sad. Mm, screen one, screen two, yeah. Hmm. Mm, two, mm, 230 watt looks like. Left to right. You actually can change the balance between the two outputs, channel one and channel two. This is the maximum that you can get off of channel two. It's not even equal. It doesn't even charge at the same rate on the two. So on the left, 180 watts. Yeah, that's cool. That's 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 enough. You know that that, that would that would definitely handle everything that I do. Plus some fa plenty of fast charging, and we're all good. But 50 watts. That's pathetic. 50 watts? And, you know, it's my fault. It, it is absolutely my fault for not seeing this in the specs. Um, it, it's, it is listed there. I just, I, I saw the thing, I saw some of the high level specs, and I didn't look at the specifics because I saw the track power name, and I know where they came, where they came from, and I know that they've, they've done, uh, that, that base company has done a lot of great stuff with LiPos in the past. Uh, un under the flight power name, uh, really high quality stuff, and they make good batteries for for land use also. But I assumed that it was going to be awesome. It turns out it's half awesome and half pretty weak. So 50 watts, just to put that into more familiar terms, you're talking about six amps on a two cell lipo. Six amps maximum fast charge. Put a four cell on there from uh, you know for for a one eighth scale buggy or something like that or for my my aquacraft revolt boat one of these nice big bricks less than three cell uh less than three amps fast charge is the max you can get off of off of uh, channel two so total complete and utter disappointment as a as a uh a dual dual output charger there's actually something that's there's, there's actually something else that is uh, extremely annoying. Oh man, even on the nice side, even on the, the channel one side, and, I, and I, I hate doing rants like this because I don't like to, to poo on products. I know, that, you know a lot of folks did a lot of work to put this thing together and I don't, I don't like to insert negativity into the hobby in general, but I, I, feel, I really feel like I've been ripped off with this thing, and, and I'm only telling you just objective realities here, right? This, 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 is, this is not subjective stuff. I'm showing you what's actually going on. So even on the Channel 1, the nice, the nice charger that's included in here, right now it's set to uh, a memory slot. They, they, they pre-program in 40 uh, track power and Duratrax uh, LiPo batteries for you. So right now it's selected on a, a three cell, 5,000 milliamp hour. So that's cool and all. Let's say I want to switch to, you know, I'm, I'm off in the, 
oops, got to use this one. I'm off in the charge world. And wait, I do not want to use three cell because now I want to charge that four cell that I was, whoopsie, wrong button. I wanted to go back. I want to charge that four cell that I was just showing you. So normally with, you know, cheap chargers or even with this guy, right? Go from four cell, three cell, five amp. That's what I want. Go, right? That's it. Three cell, four cell, done. Couple clicks, maybe a turn and you're good to go. You know, real quick and easy, simple to get, uh, simple to get to. Over here, you have to go into a memory slot because if I went to charge process, it's, it's actually doing the countdown for me. So I'm not able to, to, to stop that, uh, which, which I'm, I'm fine with that, but there's nothing in here in the charge menu to, to change. You have to go to memory to change to, I want just want to change to a four cell now. I have to go to memory and find something that matches Some life ease, nickel metals, and come back to lipos. Oop, nope, that's three cell again. Ah, there's a four cell. That'll work. So I have to pick that. Mm, wait. Sorry, I think I messed up. Oh no, I selected it. That's it. So now I've got the four cell. Now I have to come back over to charge, and now I'll be able to start charging out that pack. You have to do everything through memory. And uh, like I said, everything is, is pre-programmed in the memory slots already. You can change those, of course. That's what the memory slots are all about. It's configurable. But, you know, at the very least, if you have a, a large number, like I do, of different cell... Oops, hang on. Somebody's at the door. Okay, I am back. That was a, a kid going door to door for teenleadersca.com uh, worth checking out after school program I'm, I'm definitely in favor of stuff like that uh, keep keep kids busy in a good positive way uh, anyway where was I oh yeah so the mem memory slots you'll probably want to take take some time if you were to get this which I'm not going to recommend it obviously but uh, best case scenario trying to make the best of it you'd want to take a lot of time to set up a whole lot of memory slots that will cover every type of battery that you use because like i said you do need to use a different memory slot or or set up a memory slot for each different uh, each different type or you know at the very least you have to change the currently selected memory slot every time there's no quick and simple easy way uh, to do that so like I said, this is really, really just a disappointment for me. Um, I'm gonna, you know, just package this thing up. It, it's been used, like I said, for four battery charges, a whopping four battery charges. How about that? And I'm gonna have to just pack it back up and try to sell it on eBay, probably for, you know, a maximum of the th a third, the original, uh, the price that I paid for it. So a huge loss, but I wanted to make something good of it by at least sharing my experience and showing you you know actually what's there not just not just ranting about it but showing you uh, what I don't like about it and and why so that you can know um, I, I I wanted to love this thing uh, I've told friends about it both before and after the purchase I was so happy but uh, I ended up being so not happy and I've gotten another product to replace this, which will be going in the same space as soon as I take this all down. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share that with you. Sorry, it's kind of on a, a down note, but uh, I hope that's useful for you. <laughs> all right, take care and I'll catch you again later.